Once it goes live, I'll share it. it says we're live. It says we're live. Let me uh, let me locate it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Good. How are y'all? I'm all right. How you doing? Good. It's good to see you guys again. Miss oh, no. I miss seeing you guys in the office. I don't know my timeline. I know. So. Yep. There we go. You got it, Chief. Yeah, I, I got it. I just said tune in right now, so I could share it on my page. Okay. We're um we're live just a couple minutes early, just making sure all the kinks yeah. are worked out. There we go. We're there. We're just waiting, everyone. We're just waiting on, on Mario Lopez here for a minute. He's in uh, the waiting room, y'all. Yeah, he's in the waiting room. Besides that, we do have a couple of, uh, we do have a, uh, thank you all for tuning in. We have a couple of great guests coming up later on this week. We have Cameron Fleming, Tim DeLauder in the coming weeks, Honey County, Craig Morgan, and of course, if you're into coffee, the Black Rifle Coffee Company. We also have some athletic talent coming your way. It's going to be a surprise surprise i'm super excited for it uh julie Lear, how do you feel about that i'm really, really excited <laughs> so we're talking over each other that's how excited we are we're really excited um this we've been doing this for about a month now and we've had some great some great talent on and um it's just great to be able to do this we appreciate your help with it chief oh no, thank you thank you so much for all you do oh we got a message here hold up i got a message Oh, it's it's time to rock. Who is it? I think he's joining. I think he's on. Our guest. <laughs> did everybody start their watch parties out there? I did. So Chief, you were sharing who we have coming up, right? Um, we've never really said, but we have yeah. these scheduled out every Tuesday and Thursday for you guys. Oh, wow. How far out are we right now? All of May. <laughs> okay, all right, outstanding, that's great. Maybe into June, if some of these other talent come, comes through. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully this pandemic is over by then. You know, and people could, we could get back to being normal and, and going out and enjoying ourselves and seeing seeing everyone in public. Hopefully so. Okay. <laughs> you guys? Hi. Anybody there? Yes, we see you. Hi. See me? We see you. We hear you. All right. Okay. There we go, Mario in the house. What's going on, guys? <laughs> you jumping into it right away? We're going right. Hey, we're going right. Let me let me do a quick introduction, and we're gonna we're gonna bring All you right. right. Ready? Let's do it. <laughs> well, hey, we got limited time here today, so I'm gonna get quick to it. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, thank you so much to uh, you know all the Airmen, Soldiers, Sailors, Marines. We appreciate it. We have a special guest with us today. Before we get to him, Julie, Leah, how are you ladies doing today? Thank you so much for being here. How's it going? Good, good, good. Doing good, Chief. Good to see you. <laughs> good to see you too. Julie, let's get it going. Come on, introduce our guest. I know you're excited to have him here. I'm excited to have him here. Please introduce him. I'm so excited. I could not sleep last night. Um, we have a terrific guest with us today, and he is definitely going to boost your spirits. He cares deeply about the men and women who serve our nation. You know him from Saved by the Bell, Dancing with the Stars, and Access. It is our pleasure to welcome Mario Lopez. Hey, guys. How you doing? Happy Cinco de Mayo. Uh, thank you so much uh, for having me. It's a pleasure to speak with you today. Awesome. Thank you for joining us, Mario, and for everybody watching. Uh, drop a note in the comments. Let us know where you're watching from. Leave some love for Mario. And if you want, go ahead and start your watch party. Hey, Mario, so, so before we get started, right, uh, last week we were talking with, with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. <laughs> there was something to your boy. He hooked us up with you. 
because he knows, I, I know people love you just like they love him. And I said, Mario Lopez will be a great guest on here. I know he loves and supports the military community. It'd oh, yeah. Great to have him and true to his word. And, you know, you kept yours and you're here now. So thank you so much for coming on here and spending some time to, you know, bring some joy to the military community. We appreciate that. Oh, my, my pleasure. Yeah, Mark, Mark's a great guy and, and a good friend of mine. And um, uh, I didn't hesitate. And I do uh, support the military community and, and have a lot of family uh, in the community, both in the Army and the Marines. And um, just, uh, you know, very proud of, of all you guys and really appreciative of our soldiers, airmen, sailors, Marines, Coast Guard, everyone who's keeping the nation safe, of course, during this tough time, especially. And also shout out to all the military spouses out there and the families for their sacrifices, um, especially now during this pandemic. I mean, it's always tough, but especially now. So, you know, everyone out there fighting on the front lines of this pandemic, thank you so much. Well, Mario, well, Mario, let's, let's, let's get to it. How, how have you been doing dur during the pandemic? How's life been for you? You know, fortunately, we're very blessed over here at Casa Lopez. Um, um, I've, I've been ironically busier than ever, still doing my shows. I do like three shows on NBC, All Access, Access Hollywood, and um, Access Daily. Home, but then I go into Universal uh, three times a week video show there and then I got the three kids and the stuff with school, you know, at school and everything. So um, the silver lining, I've never been home so I like that to spend time with the kids. I'm an awful teacher. I just, I suck at math and I'm just, <laughs> it's, I give, uh, I have only respect for all the teachers out there. I feel like they deserve a fat raise uh, after all this. So God bless them. But um, you know, we've been hanging in there and, and fortunately we've been, we've been safe and well so far. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Um, many of us, Mario, grew up watching you on Saved by the Bell, and we hear there's a reboot coming. Can you tell us more about that and where we can watch it? Yeah, you know, I'm uh, producing the reboot Saved by the Bell, and um, it's going to be on Peacock, the new streaming network that NBC has coming out it hasn't launched yet we were only i believe what two or three episodes away from f completing the season and uh it's pretty funny I, I gotta say we got tracy woodfield who was the showrunner for 30 rock and won a bunch of emmys and um uh, very talented so it it's it's got i mean i'm not supposed to talk too much but it's got uh, the, some of the original members and a whole like a young talented cast of, of newcomer and it uh, it's a little edgier, a little funnier. It's not by all means still family friendly, but a little edgier, a little funnier. Uh, after it, and a lot of funny stuff ends up happening to them. So it's it's kind of uh oh. Can you guys hear me? We hear you now. Yeah, we're now. Oh, there we go. You broke up for a minute there. Okay, I'm back. Hey, it's all good, but. Based on that, I think I heard you can't say too much, but you know, everything's going good and you're going forward. You got some younger talent and everything. Um, I got a couple questions here that, that that's coming up. Um, Tony Perez asks when, you know, when you do these, uh, these reboots and you have these reunions, is it easy? Is it awkward? Do you guys fall right back into line? How is it when you meet up with everyone? You know, it's pretty cool and um, uh, easy because I happen to stay in touch with all of them. Uh, Mark Paul, who played Zach, I, I speak with him all, all the time. We, we'll do jujitsu together and stuff. And Tiffany, uh, kids got together. We played Kelly and Elizabeth. I'm real close with. So, you know, if we didn't see each other, maybe it'd be a little bit awkward. But we kind of stay in touch with each other, so it, it made it pretty, uh, pretty, pretty simple. We all went out to dinner not too long ago too. Oh. Um, so it's other people you go to high school with. You see them when you can, and when you get together, you just kind of pick up where you left off. <laughs> hey, a couple more questions here. This is from Laura at, at Green Oaks Physical Therapy. She asked, do you watch the show on YouTube called Zach Morris is Trash? <laughs> I've heard of that. And I think I saw, I may have saw a little bit a long time ago, but not really. But I heard it was funny. One of the dudes that wrote on that, um, or the dude that wrote that is is one of the writers on our show. Oh, so it's good. Yeah, yeah. Hey. So, yeah. <laughs> A good sign, I guess. And she also asked, "Can you still fit into your original tank top?" Yes, yes, because they, I wore them real baggy. 
Hey, Mario, so I know I know you love our nation's war fighters and their families. You're a big military supporter. Uh, our heroes would love to hear some words of inspiration for you during these challenging times. What can you share with us, sir? I mean, again, I'm just so appreciative and, and, and grateful for, for everything that um, you guys have been doing. And it doesn't go unnoticed or unappreciated, at least here at Casa Lopez. So I'm always willing to, to be vocal. And, and supportive and anything that I can do, whether it's time or, or so any, anything to raise the awareness level of how important it is, the jobs that you're doing, you know, believe me, it doesn't go unnoticed by people that truly get it and, and, and care. And, I, and I'm one of those people and everyone in my family is. So, you know, God bless you guys and, and uh, th uh, prayers are always with you. Well, that means so much, Mario. Th thank you for that. Um, here at the Army and Air Force Exchange Service, we have about 33,000 associates all over the world. We are considered mission essential. So our stores and restaurants have been open this whole time to serve warfighters and military families. We awesome. have about 85% of us are connected to the military in some way. What words of encouragement do you have for our associates during this challenging time? I mean, what you're, what you're doing over there in Romania to stay open and like business, the world continues to go. We continue to need to be protected and we continue to need your, your jobs don't stop. I mean, no matter what's going on in the world. And as a matter of fact, when it seems to be at its, at its lowest or most difficult point, we need you more than ever. So, you know, it, it's 24 seven round the clock and it, it, whether it's Christmas, whether it's pandemic, whatever the case may be, um, the military and the families and everyone on the front lines continue to, to work hard. And again, that's why I uh, have such a great deal of respect um, and, uh, and admiration for all you guys. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Mario. Right. We're huge fans of yours on social media and we see you're very active on Instagram, especially now during the pandemic. Um, how's your family doing uh, and how are you using this time together? You know, we're, we're doing well. I mean, um, you know, fortunately I get along with my wife real well. And we have a lot of fun and uh, uh, the kids, because they're little, it's the most challenging thing. I got to keep them busy and active and stuff. So which we do and we get it out and we'll be go on hikes or swimming or, you know, dance. We've been doing a lot of the TikTok videos, a lot of dance videos we'll put on there. So I like to show off my family. And uh, I'm always, I always say I'm always about the five F's in my life, which is family, faith, fitness, food, and fun. <laughs> so that sort of encompass everything that, uh, you know, we're about as a family. Well, as what? Chief mentioned a couple weeks ago, we talked with your good friend, Mark Wahlberg. And are you gonna have a cardboard <laughs> cut out of me later? Yeah, we well, want one. We're wondering where we can get one. Yeah, we get one. Totally want one. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to send you all one right there. <laughs> please, yes. Yes, yes, please. We would love that. Hilarious. Big, big, big thanks six. to Mark for introducing us to you, and um, thank you for making time for us. We talked with Mark about the importance of staying fit, especially right now, and military members have to stay fit to fight. So what does your fitness regimen look like and what tips do you have for everyone out there? I mean, it's important to stay fit, not just physically, for your physical health, but for your mental health as well. It helps you with your uh, deal with any sort of stress and, and anxiety that you're dealing, not to mention, <clears throat> excuse me, all the obvious health benefits so, you know, I, you, you got to kind of do what you can when you can. Gyms aren't open um, at the moment, so you got to get creative um, at home or, or whether it's going for a jog or if you have access to any sort of pool, you got to swim or even the old school military workouts, if you will, push-ups, sit-ups, squats, lunges, all those sort of things. A couple bands can really do um, a, a, a wonder, but the main thing is just to try to be consistent with it and try to break a sweat every day and and that's what I um, try to do. And you got to start getting creative. I mean, I feel the ends in sight. And as far as this pandemic and there's guidelines now where they're in play and they're starting to open and stuff back up um, little by little. So hopefully the worst is over. What's what's your what's your diet like? What's your diet consist of? Besides uh, your your Casa Mexico tequila that I see you popping the bottle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, the tequila definitely helps preserve you. <laughs> all in all in no, moderation. I mean, I, I really uh, uh, don't go by a diet, if you will. I mean, I try not to eat 
like a like a jerk during the week and stay away from <laughs> uh, tons of fried food or sweets or what have you. But I mean, I'll eat, I'll eat. It's just it's just more about kind of grazing throughout the day and having a sensible looking plate, right? And that includes everything with fat and carbs and protein. And then then on the weekends maybe get a little crazier and crushing you know pizzas and having some tacos and uh, but I'll enjoy a you know a nice cocktail and and I like food so I like to I like to eat but you can't outwork a, a bad diet so you don't want to be eating shoveling junk every day but you know there's nothing wrong with treating yourself either correct correct big shout out to uh air force smarter refueling and the healthy army communities who kind of try to provide that nutritional information to all the service members and their families to you know stay fit to fight um but on that we're gonna stay on this topic real quick because I wanna know something. How is it, and I could ask this, it's 2020 now. I wanna know, how do you still look the same that you did from like 22 years ago? What is your skin regimen? Your hair is looking, look at my hair, man. I'm losing it. Yours is looking all good. Look at that nice head of hair. What product are you? That's the, that's the tequila right there that you mentioned earlier. It's like embalming fluid. It kind of <laughs> preserves you, like I said. <laughs> I don't deal with as much stress as you do in your line of work. So <laughs> that, that, might, that might take a, a toll too. So maybe that has something to do with it. But thank you for the kind words. Man, all right, so it's a, it's a secret. It's a Hollywood secret up there. No, I, I just... You just look good. I just told you this. You just look, there, you go. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Hey, so besides, um, you know, besides the Saved by the Bell reboot, what other projects do you have going on in, in your, you know, in your life that you'd like to discuss? I know a little bit later on today, I think you have a, a, a Cinco de Mayo salsa also lesson. lesson. Oh, yeah, Correct? I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Um, my wife and I are doing this live uh, salsa dance lesson, which is free for everyone, by the way. And uh, I partnered up with uh, Unidos, which is a cool organization that... Um, really helps the the Latino community, which has been hit hard, specifically during this pandemic. So Tostitos has, has stepped up to the plate. They donated 100,000 wow. um, to the cause. Wow. And uh, whoever joins, and again, it's free, uh, they're going to donate another $5 for every person, which is kind of cool. And then we're going to have some fun. You don't need to be any kind of pro. And and uh, we're just going to uh, have a little salsa dancing. And, and uh, it's a free lesson from 4 to 5 p.m., uh, Pacific Standard Time. So, if you're around, join us, please. It'll be it'll be it'll be cool. And it's for a good cause, right? We need those U.S. Uh, supports the Latin communities across across America, right? Exactly. That's exactly what it is. We need those at U.S. supporting uh, the Latin communities across the U.S. and and um, we're really happy to be partnering with them. So, we're uh, we're gonna be doing that later on. Hopefully, you can join us. I'm glad you brought that up. Oh, hey, we got hey, we got to bring it up. We got to share that, right? Let, are there yeah. any other um, charities you support, or something that you find worthy that you'd like to share with the with the audience? Yeah, I mean, I'm also a big supporter of the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. I grew up as a boys club member, so I do a lot of work um, with them as well. And uh, they, they've been something that's, uh, I mean, a big a special partner of mine. So you know, I focus a lot of my time on um, um, with them. Um, and uh, we we also have another. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, charity that we're doing where people list, uh, post certain throwback photos and, um, and, and, and they post certain throwback photos and tag the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. And then they're also uh, donating to, to the clubs to kind of keep them. Because a, the, uh, a lot of clubs provide meals for the kids, obviously a safe haven, keep them out in trouble and stuff. And that was the case, you know, for me growing up for many years. So that, that's an organization that's special to my heart when you asked me earlier I, want, I wanted to mention one another show a great family friendly show that's on right now you can stream on netflix is called the expanding universe of ashley garcia um and that's a fun uh show that the whole family can watch it's about this little 15 year old girl who happens to be a genius and she goes li lives with her uncle who's a bit of a hot mess and uh they sort of help each other out and uh hilarity ensues so it's, you know it's, it's cool and i come out in that one too Expanding universe of uh, Shelly Garcia, right? No, Ashley Garcia. Ashley. Ashley. Shelly might, Shelly might be her cousin. <laughs> <laughs> <That's her again. laughs> Mario, that? some questions that are coming in on the Facebook stream. Um, Monica is asking, will we get to see you dance in tights again, Mario? <laughs> I don't know about the tights, but we'll definitely get to, get to see me dance again. Well, if you go tonight, you get to see me dance some salsa tonight. But if she means the show, then we'll have to just kind of wait and see. <laughs> okay. 
And Ryan says he follows you on Instagram and um, knows you have so many connections. Who's the nicest celebrity you've ever met? Uh, Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> we agree. <laughs> He's time. so nice. He's a great guy. But, you know, there's, there's a lot. Most of the time, the celebrities are all real nice. They're all, they're all pretty cool. And, um, you know, of course, I'm interviewing them and want to promote their products. So they're going to be or, or their film or whatever project they have working on. So uh, it, it bode well for them to be nice <laughs> to me. But I, I come like from a nice place, too. I'm not trying to come from a salacious angle or try to get latest gossip or anything. I just try to have a nice conversation and hopefully they'll respond, too. Yeah. And then one more last question, Pierre. Um, he's our colleague who works for Army MWR that stands for Morale, Morale Welfare and Recreation. They have a um, world-class athlete program. These folks are um, soldiers who are training for Olympics. When we oh, talked cool. with Mark, um, Pierre asked Mark if he would want to do a workout with these um, with these soldier athletes. And he said, once the pandemic and the isolation is over, he'd consider it. So Pierre is asking if you'd want to join in with that with Mark. I'll join in with you guys when they're, when you're ready to go, we set it all up. I'll try to keep up. I'll join in. <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty strong. Hey, speaking of that, there's another question here from Blake Richardson. He asked, do you have a good video workout that you use? You know, I don't necessarily have a, a video workout that I use. Um, um, maybe we'll work on one at the moment that uh, hopefully it will help other people later on. So we're, we're, we're kind of getting into that. I've got some pretty cool affordable equipment though that you can get right now at Ross that really helps people out. And people have been telling me and sending me pictures and stuff that that's been helping me. You can do it in your apartment. You can do it in you know, a yard outside. So that's, that's, so that's sort of cool little line out there that I'm kind of proud of. So they want to check that out. That's awesome. So I'm asking questions. Fire, fire question. So what music does Mario Lopez listen to? What's on your playlist? Oh, I love music in general. Cause I, you know, any music that makes me want to dance, probably my favorite, but I love everything from classic rock to hip hop to, um, you know, uh, Spanish music. You know, I, I, I like everything. All right. Really what about, uh, all right, a little bit of, I'm the same way. I kind of like a little bit of everything. I can listen, you know, to everything. Sure. About them, so. Yeah, sure. I can make, I like to mix it up. Netflix. What do you, I know you watch Tiger King. I saw some of your Instagram posts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so what, what do you think? Tell us. What do I think? What did Carol do it? Did Carol, Carol kill her husband? <laughs> I mean, it did. I, well, whatever happened, it didn't make Carol Baskin look too good afterwards. I think there was a, there was a, everyone out there came out looking kind of bad. Tiger, I mean, <laughs> Joe, I mean, there was there was just a hot mess. It was like one long one long Jerry Springer episode. <laughs> No one came out of that looking oh, clean. With the animal abuse and the people ODing and the drug use and the I mean the whole thing was just a hot just a hot mess, but it was entertaining. <laughs> what other shows do you are you watching on Netflix, Mario? Um finished finally finished the last season of Narcos. Um Billions just started on Showtime. Yeah. that I saw Waco recently then uh, watching The Last Dance with a Jordan doc for uh, on ESPN too did you, yeah. did you get all that or did you freeze up it froze up okay, a little good. but I got a lot of it I heard the billions uh, the Jordan the Jordan um yeah, the documentary show. Yeah, the the dance, sure. Yeah. Hey, so tell me, tell yes. me about. Um, we're getting a little bit into boxing. I saw you boxing right. uh, De La Hoya, like two, uh, three, year, four years ago, maybe. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. Oh, you know what? You reminded me of something else too. After the salsa dancing tonight from four to five, um, De La Hoya and I are gonna do um, an IG live or Facebook IG Live for uh, Cinco de Mayo from 6.30 to 7.30 tonight, where we'll be talking to people and having some tequila shots and the whole deal. So that'll be, uh, that, that should Join be a good time. You can, party, you can dance with us and then party with us later. So that, 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 that ties into the whole Casa Mexico. Is that, is that your, your, your brand? Is that yours and uh, De La Hoya's brand? What, what, yeah. What is 
we've been working on that together and we just thought it'd be a fun festive thing to do today to celebrate and and uh you know um honor the tequila on cinco de mayo and you know we call it a cinco de mario that's exactly what i like to call it too out of boy there you go that's when you really that's what we've been calling this <laughs> You go to Mario, um, there you go. We do have one question from, her name is Carolyn, and she's asking if you're gonna run the Boston Marathon again. You know, it's not on the on the agenda at the moment. <laughs> that was taxi <laughs> marathons are tough. I had a great time when I did it. Um, I ran it for the Boys and Girls Club, coincidentally, to help raise some money uh, for them. I was speaking about them earlier, but that, that was a lot of, uh, that was that was that was a lot of hard work. <laughs> That's taxing on your body, but it was fun. I ran the Boston Marathon, the New York Marathon, the Las Vegas one. So um, th those have been a lot of fun. But you know, getting up there and your knees start to take a toll after a while. Hey Mario, I'm 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 gonna ask for a favor. Okay. I learned in life if you don't ask, you never know what you could get. Okay. You ready? Like, uh oh. What's that? Oh no. Easy. It's easy. It's easy. They're cringing, but it's easy. I know you're good friends with Oscar De La Hoya. I love to have him on here and talk to him because I know he's a big military supporter. And I know you guys are promoting your Casa Mexico product. It'd be great to have him on here and kind of show what he's doing in his life and what he's doing during the pandemic. And also to talk about, you know, any initiatives and any charities he's he's, you know, he's supporting during this pandemic. What do you think? You think he'd do it? Or he would say no, leave yeah. me alone, Mario. Tell him no. No, no. No, he, he's a super cool guy, too, real down to earth. And, um, yeah, he is a big supporter. So I'll, when I see him tonight, I'll tell him, for sure, you got it. <laughs> Mario, Mario any, um, we got a few minutes left with you. I know we're tight on time. You got a lot of engagements today. You got any, is there anything else, uh, Julie, Leah, from the, from the field? Yeah, can you remind us, Mario, where can we watch the salsa dancing? Can you remind us? The salsa dancing, you can watch, it's around salsa at, on the IG Live, right? Yeah, Salsa Dance tonight, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on my Instagram. I'm gonna go okay. Instagram IG Live on my Instagram, 4 p.m. Salsa Dancing, Mrs. Lopez and I. That's tonight, so check that out. Ah, awesome. sounds, sounds great. Let's do it, Chief and Leah. Yes. There you go. <laughs> All right, ladies, I look forward to seeing you dancing with you later. <laughs> Awesome. And of course, anything, uh, hey Mario, anything you want to you want to share with the audience in these final few minutes? Any any last words uh, of your, you know, besides the the salsa dancing tonight, but any other charities? I know the Boys and Cl Girls Club is dear to your heart. Unidos US dear to your heart. You know some of those other charities, and and of course the other projects that you're doing. Anything you want to share before we we thank you and and wish you good luck. Oh, no, I appreciate it, man. You know, again, if you want some fun, family-friendly view viewing, you know, check out Ashley Garcia on, on Netflix. I think the, the families will really enjoy that. We've been getting some great reviews and it's some positive role models there. Um, you know, if you ever find yourself in front of the TV around 7 o'clock on NBC, throw me on. <laughs> That'll be fun. But, you know, I hope, uh, hope uh, I get to uh, uh, do some more stuff with you guys and appreciate you having me on. And, and um, you know, again, Nothing but love over here, and just to know you got a lot of fans over at uh, Casa Lopez. So thank you. Thank you so much, thank Mario. We greatly appreciate your support. And of course, hey, we'll take you up on it. We might send an email months from now and say, "Come back on and let us know what's going on in your life." But thank you so much on behalf of the military community, the family members, and of course the Exchange Associates. Thank you for all you do and the support you provide. And of course, every, you know everything you do worldwide. We appreciate your role model for kids to look up to, and of course for adults to look up to. Thank you so much, and uh, everyone. Stay tuned. Mario Lopez is on tonight with two specials, right? Learn how to salsa dance and then party with him and Oscar De La Hoya and support the Boys and Girl Club. Uh, Unidos US, watching you Saved by the Bell coming out. Access Hollywood or Access, whatever. What is the right term now, Mario? Is it Access? Oh, access? You got it right. You're doing great. You're doing good? All right. Watch <laughs> Access Hollywood and, of course, uh, expanding the universe of Ashley Garcia. Check them out on there. So, Mario, thank you so much. All right. Thank you, guys. God bless you. You too. Bye. Thanks, Thank Mario. You. Bye. You got it. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end the live feed. Thanks, y'all. Thank you.